Getting the address of a basic variable can be useful if you want to pass data to a machine code routine or want to access the bytes of a variable directly to improve speed and reduce garbage collection. This video is going to show a few ways of getting the address of a variable from BASIC and also from assembly language. The easiest way to get the address of a variable from BASIC is by using sys to call the EVL var routine at 53387 and then we place the variable name directly after the sys command as we can see here on line 20 sys 53387 n%. So we want to get the address of the variable descriptor or an address within the variable descriptor of n%. Uh, and then the routine returns that in registers A and X, which we can access through location 780, 781. Uh, so D will contain the address of the 16-bit integers stored in MSB, LSB order, and, um, and that's within the variable descriptor. And then we'll access that location to get that variable, get that value and put it in V. And then the program prints out the variable descriptor and, uh, and then eventually prints out the integer value. If we run the program now, we can see that it has output the variable descriptor and also the value of v, which is the value of n%, uh, 312. If we go through the variable descriptor, the first two bytes represent the two-letter variable name. For an integer variable, we had 128 to each letter of the variable name. So the first value is 206, which is the value of n plus 128. And then there isn't a second letter, and therefore it's just 128. We've just added that to zero. And then the next two locations point to the actual value of the integer. So, and it's in MSB, LSB order. So we have one and then 56. If we did one times 256, we'd have 256, then add 56, and we'd have 312. And then the remainder of the variable descriptor is filled with zeros as it isn't used for an integer variable. Getting the address of a string is very similar to that of getting an integer. In this case, we want to get to the string Fred, uh, which is in the n dollar variable. So this time D will again point to a location within the variable descriptor. However, this time it'll point to the length of the string, which will be stored in L. And then that's followed by a pointer to the actual string itself, which will be stored in P. One slight problem with the use of sys53387 is that we can't use it with the e dollar variable because of a small bug. It's possible to overcome this with the routines to handle parentheses. However, it's probably just easier to use another variable name. Right, so we'll run this program and we can see that it's again printed off the variable descriptor. Uh, in this case, uh, there is 128 only added to the second byte of the variable name, not the first. Hence the reason it reads 78, 128. And then we've got the length of the string 4. And then we've got the pointer, uh, which in this case is 916. So if we did, it's uh, stored in LSB, MSB order. So if we did 16 times 256 plus 9, we'd have uh, 4105. And that's the location that the string is actually stored in. And then uh, our program actually goes through each location in P to print the value of the string. And at the end of the variable descriptor, two zeros because those are unused for a string variable descriptor. There's more information about this in the associated article on the Tech Tinkering website, and it's definitely worth looking at. The last routine I want to show is written in assembly language. So I'll enter vicmon using sys24576, and then we'll enter our routine at 02A1. So this routine is going to use the FND var routine at location D0E7. The routine expects the name of the variable to search for to be in location 4546 hex, and then it'll return the address in the variable descriptor just past the name at location 4748 hex. And this is what the program is doing here. And then, and then we've got that variable then. Uh, so we've got that location within the variable descriptor then. And then we're going to use routine DDCD, which is the PRT fix to print an integer uh, location in, uh, located in registers A and X. So the least significant byte will be in X, the most significant byte in A. And then we'll exit Vicmon and return to BASIC to show the routine in action. In the assembly language routine, we use the value CE80, which is for uh, the variable name N%. And then we'll enter this now, N% equals 312. And then we'll sys to it at 673, which is a 02A1 in decimal. And there we are. We can see that it's returned the value 312 
which was stored in N%. So this machine language routine was very simple. It was only using PRT fix to print the variable, but we could use that for a more complicated thing. We could use it to, to do anything that an assembly language program might want to do. In this video, I have omitted how to get the address of a floating point function descriptor or array variable. These are more complicated and therefore more difficult to access. However, if their address is needed, their storage is explained in detail in Mapping the Vic. I point to this in the associated article on the Tech Tinkering website. So uh, have a look at that. Uh, also have a look at some of the other articles and some of the other videos on the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel. And uh, please subscribe.